In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to make a lit candle visually melt to the very fibers of a playing card like movie special effects, solid through solid, CGI, but in real life. Knowing the secrets to magic, there are a ton of ways that you can create the illusion of one object penetrating through another, but usually the secrets are pretty easy to work out. What the? Oh, it's just two coins. That's rubbish. If you're already subscribed to the channel, then you know that I post regular tutorials where I take traditional pieces of magic that are normally pretty easy to figure out and I add my own visual twists to them. I am obsessed with making magic look real in ways that have never been done before. Personally, I think it's so important that if you're performing magic online and people are watching it on shorts and reels where they can watch it on repeat, that you use the latest, most cutting edge methods. So for this trick, I tried a bunch of different methods from using a fake bottom of a candle to using two candles and even burning through paper. Oh my God, I did, I did not think this through. <laughs> Until eventually I came up with this James Bond style gimmick that not only is easy to perform, but if you watch all the way until the end of the video, I'll show you how you can start and end completely clean. So now let me teach you how to easily make this gimmick and how to perform this yourself at home. By the way, if you would like to win a custom designed deck of my very own Moonshine Vintage Elixir playing cards shipped to you for free anywhere you are in the world, then all you have to do is make sure you're already subscribed to the channel. If you haven't done so, do it now and leave a funny comment down below. The winner will be picked in next week's video. Gimmick build, let's go. Take a single playing card, but make sure it's a court card. Next, tape it to a cutting surface. Now take a circle cutting machine. You could use a hole punch or a scalpel and cut out a hole. Cut this in half. Place the pieces back into the hole. Take some more tape and tape the edges down. And now you're gonna place four holes through the card in these different positions. Take some invisible elastic thread and cut off two strands. The first strand will be thread through this hole and this hole. The second strand will be thread through this hole and this hole, creating two train tracks. Now tie a triple knot. When you're done, snip off the excess end. Now repeat the process on the opposite side. Once again, tie a triple knot and cut off the excess. The very last thing to do is to take these threads on the back side of the card off to the side. So I'll show you how we do that. Very simply, you take the thread, move it off to the side and stick it down with tape. I carefully remove any tape that overlays onto the white part of the card. And here's two. This is really important, otherwise the trick will not work. But once that's done, this is your gimmick. And surprisingly, it's pretty invisible considering you've done a lot of surgical work to the card. Now that you have your gimmick, place it face up on top of the deck, but also take a regular jack of clubs and place it on the bottom of the deck. But the secret thing is to turn one card face down beneath it. Now turn the whole deck back over with the gimmick on top and you're ready to begin.
So light the candle however you like. I like to try to do it in this kind of cool display, but whatever you want to do, light that candle just like this. And now you can take your gimmick and turn it face down just like so. And there's only two things to remember here. The first is that you don't want to tilt it too far back because they'll see these doors open in. And you want to hold the card pretty high off the table. If it's too close, those doors won't open. And the higher it is, the faster that car, the candle will fall through, meaning the doors will close quicker and there'll be less to see. But either way, take your gimmick, place it in the center of the card, hold where the hinges are with your fingers and push down evenly from the center with your thumbs and that candle will fall through the card. Now you can turn the card over and if you want, you can drop it back on top of the deck. And as you ask somebody to blow the candle out, you can literally turn the deck over. So I can say, can you do me a favor and blow the candle out? And as I do that, I turn the cards over. And now I've switched it for this regular jack of clubs. Now they can examine everything. The cool thing is you could actually have this card examined at the beginning, this regular jack with no gimmicks, place it on top of the deck. And as you ask to borrow a lighter, you can turn this deck down, switching it secretly for the gimmick card. Now, this is the gimmicked jack. So you can begin and end completely examinable. Drum roll, please. The winner from the last tutorials contest is at Broke the Seal. Congratulations, my friend. Drop me an email to hello at loy.tv and I will have your prize shipped out to you in the mail immediately. Remember, it's super easy to enter the contest. All you need to do is drop a comment down below and hit that subscribe button. And if you want to show me a little bit of extra love, it would go a really long way if you could just hit the notification bell and drop me a like on the video. Now, if you haven't been here before, there's a bunch of content that you can go back and binge, tons of tutorials over the last year. And if you want to see another tutorial just like this that I think you'll really dig, which is another object through object type of trick, ultra visual, then I suggest you watch this video right here. Anyway, until next time, folks, I've been Lloyd and I'll see you all very, very soon. Peace.